Welcome again. In this video, we will discuss audit types and approaches. We need first to understand that there is two main categories of auditing. The first category is the internal audit. An internal audit is a self-assessment. It is inside the organization and it cannot be used for licensing. In some cases, we may need to be to be for being audited by independent auditing firm to get a certificate or get an auditing report that we can use to obtain a certificate or to obtain a certain license. Such requirement cannot be achieved by only the internal audit. The internal audit is developed or established by the audit charter and the main goal of the internal audit is to promote compliance that's okay and also help the organization to pass external audit whenever it performed as we discussed earlier in regard to SOX Act, SOX Act require or SOX compliance require organizations that are published or, or related to uh, the SEC in the United States, uh, ask them or require them to have an independent audit after 90 days from publishing the report. So the internal audit will not do here, but the independent audit or the external independent audit will do. The external independent audit is when being audited by a third party, it can be used for licensing and product approval. It is also called the traditional auditing and in external audit or in, and, uh, or an, in an independent audit, audit team uh, uh, inspect audit produce, uh, processes, assets and proce uh, produce audit reports that can be used to gain a specific license. We have also another type of audit, but let us meet not confused between uh, this type of audit and other types of audit that we just discussed internal and independent the external audit is when you audit or being audited what we mean here is that in some cases and in your contract or your service provider for instance if you have a cloud service then you have a contract with a service provider and you need to ensure that this service provider is acting in a good manner and it is internal control ensure that the data you are storing in this cloud service is subject to high level of security so what is the best way to ensure that thing? The best way is to ensure that you have the right to audit clause in the contract between you and the service provider. The right to audit clause is a mandatory requirement in relation to contract with the vendor and service provider. But let us speak about this point in a logic manner. The service provider such as an Amazon, which is a huge cloud service provider, cannot allow any customer or all of its customer to audit its premise, its data center, its internal process. So in this case, the external audit or the right uh, or the, the audit clause or the requirement for audit clause in the contract will not be feasible. In this case, the cloud service provider will respond to any client that ask him to do an external audit on the cloud service provider with what is called SOC report or the service organization control reports. So don't confuse the external audit with the independent audit. The independent audit, it is a third party auditing you, but in external audit, which, which is also a kind of independent audit or in the independent audit is kind of external audit. In the external audit is one is when you are being audited or when you audit your service provider. And when someone asks his service provider to audit him, the service provider will generally uh, answer the audit request with a SOC 2 report and we will see that in a little bit later. So the SOC report as we said is abbreviation for service organization control. A cloud provider for instance cannot allow all customers to verify their claims via audit so most cloud providers will answer external audit request by supplying its customer with a copy of latest SSEE-16 report which is another equivalent or the audit type that will uh, have the SOC report as a result. SOC report should be or the SOC audit should be performed by an independent auditor and open the completion of this audit the independent auditor will prepare a SOC report. We have generally three types of SOC report. So let's discuss the types or the three types of SOC report and this is important topic in related to the exam.
The first type of SOC report is, is SOC report uh, number one, and SOC report type one is designed to address internal control over financial reporting. Don't memorize this word. All what you need to know is SOC report is caring about financial information. SOC 2 report is reporting controls. It cares about internal controls in the cloud provider or in the service provider requirement. Both SOC 1 and SOC 2 report are intended to be provided to customers whenever they need or whenever they requested to do an audit on the service provider. And some service provider already publishes these reports on a regular basis in a specific or in related dash dashboard as we will see uh, a little bit later. SOC 3 report is the last type of SOC report and it is public report. It is publicly available and it provides a summary report on controls. For instance, in SOC 2 report, we may find that a details about the controls implemented, but in SOC 3 report, we are find we will find like a statement or a conclusion. And in this conclusion, we will see something like that the auditor has confirmed that this organization is applying a proper controls over confidentiality and preserve availability and the people management and so on so SOC 3 report is publicly available you will not find too much details but it will include a conclusion and one of the examples that we will discuss now is Amazon web service we will see how uh, the SOC 3 report appear on Amazon web service website so now we are on Google website and in Google website we will search for Amazon SOC 3 report we will find the first result in our search, SOC compliance from Amazon AWS. And Amazon AWS is a reputable cloud service provider. So if you are not, uh, if you don't know what is a cloud provider or a cloud service, I suggest you to follow my channel and search for my videos in relation uh, that describing what is a cloud service provider and what are the major cloud service provider available in the market. So in Amazon uh, Web Service website, we will find that they have like a page or have a dashboard that describing uh, the SOC compliance and saying that Amazon is committed to perform a compliance uh, report that generate uh, SOC report as a result. And we will find here that Samsung have the SOC 1 report and it is included uh, in AWS artifacts and it is available, available to AWS customers only. And we have SOC 2 report, which is related to controls and it is available in for customers only. But we will find at uh, the last result, the SOC 3 report, which is publicly available as our paper so when we open this report we will find this uh, is an audit report prepared for the period between april to september 2021 and we will find this report prepared by ey which is one of the big four auditing firm and we will find a lot of details here about the cloud services uh, related to amazon so we will find a description for the service offering and the cloud services that are uh, published or or sold by uh, or can be leased by amazon but at the end of this report we will find the conclusion the final conclusion so we will find the conclusion statement about the people management in amazon we will find the conclusion document or conclusion statement about data and conclusion statement about availability and confidentiality and we will find this statement very general but it provides like a confirmation from the independent auditor that this company or this or this uh, uh, organization is performing uh, their work in a good way to ensure conf confidentiality con uh, uh, ensure availability and in return support customers so that was all about the SOC 3 report and as I said SOC 1 and SOC 2 SOC 1 is related to finance SOC 2 is related to uh, controls and SOC 3 is publicly available and can be downloaded by anyone so uh, we also need to discuss that there is different types of uh, audit approaches and in audit approaches we uh, may find uh, excuse me just uh, a minute so uh, back again we have uh, different types of or different approaches for auditing for instance we have a financial audit which was the traditional type of audit that we noticed across the history of human being in financial auditing we check the integrity of financial records we review the balance sheet and other financial statement of a certain organization we have also what is called operational audit and the operational audit is verifying a verification of effectiveness of an operation practices 
and it is used in uh, IT and uh, HR and many other types uh, of business. IS audit is concerned or the information system audit is concerned about auditing the information system implementation to ensure that the data processed by this information system is uh, uh, subject to adequate level or safeguards that maintain integrity, availability and confidentiality. That's all include or produce or uh, lead to reliability in the data or uh, in the process of the system. We also can find another level or another type or another approach of auditing, which is a process audit. And in process audit, we evaluate a certain activity, like for instance, having an audit for a certain process, like hiring process, business impact analysis, process re-engineering, and all of this will be discussed in great level of details. We also have a kind uh, or a different kind of uh, different approach of audit, which is a forensic audit. And in forensic audit, we use it in forensic investigation, and it can be requested with uh, by uh, the law enforcement authorities when we are uh, investigating a criminal case or something like this. We also have what is called a product audit, and in product audit, we uh, compare attributes of a, a product against the specification, like the safety measures in the cars in in Europe or in United States, they have a kind of specification related to safety measures that need to be implemented in a vehicle. So this could be a kind of product audit. We also have a kind of other approach of audit, which is a system audit. And in system audit, we review system configuration parameters. We also can have a kind of audit, which is called compliance audit. And in this compliance audit, we verify that our company or our operation is adhered to a standard or a regulation. So you may have the compliance audit when you are trying to certify your organization against ISO certification or against the BCI standard. So this is a kind of compliance audit. And the same way, this is the same way when we discuss the technical certification like the TUV, which is related to quality and manufacturer. So it is also an approach for audit. We also may have an administrative audit. So that's all many speaking and many types or many or many approaches of audit. So please don't confuse between it and the internal and the external or the independent audit. We're just describing what are the types. For the company, it is all about audits, but we just as a CISA as trying to discuss in details what are the different approaches so we understood that the financial audit and it makes sense we already know it when we review balance sheet and review financial statements we discuss the information system audit product system compliance technical certification and surveillance audit. Surveillance audit is much related with certificate like ISO compliance. ISO require uh, organizations that certify against ISO to be audited uh, with a surveillance audit every six months to ensure it is still compliant. The most important type of audit in, in relation to CISA certification is what is called integrated audit. An integrated audit is specified in what is called the Statement of Auditing Standard uh, number 94. And in this integrated audit, we combine three types of audit with each other. Operational audit, financial, and information system audit. So in, in generally, when we discuss auditing in, in modern organization, we don't know, uh, we don't do every audit uh, or every type of these audits as a single project. We can uh, do uh, this audit or do these three types of audit within the same time frame. So this is what is called integrated audit. And integrated audit is uh, the kind of audit that we observe uh, much more in modern business when we see that financial team is being audited with the operational team and with the information system as well. So uh, if you need to know more about integrated audit, so I, I recommend to visit the link that I am sharing here on the screen, which describes a, a statement of auditing standard. And in point 94, you will find like a reference that describing it to you what is the integrated audit, how to perform it, and how to manage the three types of audit in a single audit mission so that was all for this video i hope it was informative and see you in the next video